What's up, guys? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you guys again for coming back on the YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking me out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if this is not your first time, but you're watching this and you get some value from my content, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, it helps me out. It helps me get some extra views on the YouTube channel. Also, make sure you guys share this with one teammate to improve their game and help the team get better, guys. Be team players and send this to a teammate. Guys, we're going to be talking about this uh, Inter Milan goal that happened this weekend. Absolute catastrophe. And I'm going to show you guys that a goal does not come from one mistake. A goal comes from five, six, seven mistakes in a row. And I'm going to go over each and every mistake that AC Milan made in this situation to allow such an easy, easy tap-in goal. Watch this real quick. Just going over the goal right, right, right here. The right back gets it. Plays it down the line. Lukaku spins. He's in on goal. And what happens here? Great stop from the center back. But catastrophe hits because 1v1 defending so poor and an easy goal and celebrations ensue. As we go back, I'm going to break down exactly what happened for you guys and how you guys, at the end of this, I'm going to give you guys three things that you guys can work on so that this does not happen to you. Real quick, you can see pressure is... A okay coming from the forward right here. It's okay, makes it very predictable. Your job here is to make it predictable. It is very predictable. Can't play it to the center mid, can't play it to the other center back, doesn't want to play it to the goalkeeper. So who does he have to play it to? He has to play it to the right back. Too far away, too far away, doesn't react in time. Ball comes here. By the time the right back opens his hips, this uh, this distance is far too big for a player at the highest level. And what happens now? Now all hell breaks loose. Center back, who obviously does not have the pace of a Lukaku, has now taken himself out of the game as a defender. Do not take yourself out of the game. As a defender, make sure that you put yourself in the best position to be successful. At this moment, if he doesn't get beat here, it is three four, five, V2. Five, V2. I would expect us to win five, V2. This is number two mistake. He gets turned. He's in on goal. The center back does an amazing job here. I want to highlight this real quick. The center back does an amazing job cutting down the space to the other forward, which now makes it one, two, three, verse one. He does an absolute amazing job here. Very, very well done. Makes a great tackle there. That is amazing. Good job. Everyone got back. Everyone's still working back. It's very, very good job. He's working back. You'll see it in a second, but there's two guys over here um, working back as well. So they're about to have six or seven guys back on three guys, three interplayers. But look what happens here. This is where the next mistake happens. This is why 1v1 defending is so, so important. Most people think that 1v1 defending is just don't let the winger get out wide or don't let Aryan Robin cut in. This is 1v1 defending at its most crucial. Look what happens. Ball comes in. You see the, you see the center mid drop back and he's out of the game. That is not 1v1 defending and it actually costs them a goal. 1v1 defending. That is so poor. He just runs past Lukaku and now look what happens. Now let's, let's organize here. Him losing that tackle now creates a, a time-sensitive um, uh, situation, right? You see, you see the, uh, you see the other, you see the other, uh, outside mids coming back. You'll see another guy coming in here. They can't get back quick enough. You see, he can't step out quick enough. They haven't organized in here. They haven't organized in here. They cannot step to their, their, uh, forwards quick enough because of this, uh, 1v1 mishap. Look, ball comes in here. No one's close to anyone. You see here, look, no one's near him, no one's near him, no one's near him, and no one's near him. No one knows where, where they need to get. They didn't have time to organize because the 1v1 defending did not slow them down. The most important thing for you to do as a 1v1, uh, in a 1v1 situation, if you're tracking back, is to slow them down. You want to get numbers back. You want to force them backwards. You're not trying to win the ball. You're not trying to block a, a, a shot or a pass. You're simply trying to get them to go backwards. You see here again. I want to highlight something else here. The center back does an amazing job. As I said before, does an amazing job here. He makes a great tackle. Now, I want you to watch him here. I'm highlighting him here. Look, watch him.
closely here as the as the play progresses. Does he ever? Does he ever organize the players around him? Does he ever organize the players around him? Look at him here. Looks around. Looks around. Looks around. Looks around. Never once organizes the plays around him, never once communicates who he has. No one, no one, no one knows who they're getting on. That is so, so important. So the three things I want you guys to take away from this is, number one, a goal does not come from one mistake. A goal comes from five, six, seven mistakes at a time. So when you're in a game, you need to be looking, oh, my forward got beat, my center mid got beat. Now we probably have to make a tackle here or make a foul or whatever because we're, we're starting to compound mistakes, right? So that's number one. Number two is when you come back on defense and you're a 1v1, if you're, if you're in a 1v1 situation, get behind the ball and make sure that they are for, you're forcing them back. Do not overcommit. Do not uh, lunge in for a tackle or lunge in for a block and get cut because at that point, now you're, le- now you're out of the game. You're leaving them to now uh, punish you, right? And then the last thing, know your strengths. Know your strengths. If you go back to, if you go back here, this center back right here, right now should be giving Lukaku space, should be dropping off. Why? Because he's not fast. He's not fast. Keep the game in front of you. If you guys watch the Super Bowl, Kansas City taking on Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay had two guys deep the whole time. Why? Why did they, why did they have that? They literally said in the uh, post-game interview, our goal was to keep the ball in front of us at all times. And they kept one of the best offensive, offensive uh, teams to no touchdowns. They didn't score a touchdown. Why? Because they knew their strengths and they knew the other team's strengths and they used their strengths to uh, to um, squelch the other team's strengths. So watch here. At this point, the center back should be dropped off and expecting the ball to go into Lukaku's feet to then step to him. But he steps to him too early. Lukaku does a great job here, lets it run, and now he's out. So you have to know your strengths and you have to make sure that you do not beat yourself. Guys, I appreciate you coming on the YouTube channel. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get more and more videos up for you guys on a weekly basis because I will be taking over uh, YouTube as we know it. I appreciate you guys. Again, make sure you like, share, and most importantly, uh, subscribe. Also leave a comment for a video that you want me to do next for a team or player or position that you want me to do next. I will be happy to do it. And, uh, Tell me if you like it. If you don't like it, put a thumbs down. If you do like it, give me that thumbs up. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.